welcome to ppk pharma tutorial in this video we are going to discuss about enzyme leakage and cell death cell death occurs due to enzyme leakage is a overall topic it comes under it is a enzyme leakage and cell death is an irreversible cell injury in this mitochondrial mitochondrial swells and also lysosomes cells which leads to the damage to plasma membrane and lysosomal membrane which leads to enzyme leakage and due to enzyme leakage there will be a necrosis or inflammation or cell death here you can see image this is a this process occurs these steps first here you can see the image of healthy cell and here you can see the image of some destroyed cell which contains irregular cell membrane and also swelling of mitochondria and next stage you can see the death cell which does not have exit or actual cell membrane this is the process and the definition is localized area of dead cell followed by the degradation of tissues hydrolytic enzymes liberated from the dead cell that means that hydrolytic enzymes which are liberated from the dead cells will degrade the localized area of dead cells means the dead cell damage the or dead cells contains some hydrolytic enzymes they damage the healthy cells which are surrounded by the dead cells and here you can see the another one that is how mitochondria as i said before how mitochondria damage occurs here is the cell membrane nucleus dna mitochondria and lysosome okay how mitochondrial damage occurs first when occurring mitochondrial damage there will be a decrease in the atp production an increase in the production of ROS which means reactive oxygen species ATP will be decreased and ROS will be increased and it due to this it directly influence on failure of ATP dependent pumps which leads to fail to regulate normal influx and efflux of electrolytes and H2O since cell required ATP for efflux and influx of electrolytes since it does not have ATP so it fails okay next extracellular increasing the extracellular calcium means outside surface of the cell contains more amount of calcium ions these calcium ions activates cytolic enzymes like proteases ATPs and other enzymes which will enhance the formation of mitochondrial permeability which is known as mitochondrial permeability transition so this this the calcium ions present in the outer surface of the cell membrane enhance the enzymes like proteases atpases this enhance the mitochondrial permeability formation which is called mitochondrial permeability transition and this is mediated by the formation of pure complex called cell death pure complex in the membrane which leads to cell death now we will see the lysosomal damage lysosomes have an inside enzymes due to the leakage of these enzymes which leads to the degrade of cellular components which leads to cell death as we know lysosome is known as suicide of the cell so lysosome contains some degradative enzymes due to this leakage of the enzymes they degrade the cellular components and lead to cell death this is the overall concept of lysosomal damage next failure of process of ion channels unregulated entry of h2o sodium and also calcium ions influence the mitochondrial permeability transition pure complex and it activates cytosolic enzymes 
leads to the formation of pure complex in the membrane and degradation of cell components and leakage of amines leads to cell death here overall we can say the unregulated means there is no limit for the entry of h2o sodium and calcium ions which leads to mitochondrial permeability and it activates cytosolic enzymes and leads to formation of pure complex in membranes and degrade the cell component and also it helps in the leakage of enzymes which leads to cell death this is the overall enzyme leakage and how cell death occurs if you like this video please click on like button and share this video to your friends it will be available when you want to prepare for exams and support us by subscribing our channel ppk pharma tutorial thank you to all